So DASH is short for MPEG DASH, and it's basically the first international standard for delivering segmented media to devices. So we're familiar with a lot of the existing segmented formats. There's Apple's HLS, there's Adobe's HDS, there's Microsoft Smooth HD. And they're all 80% the same, but then 100% different when it comes time to actually implement them in a player. And that's been holding the industry back a little bit. We're having to do things three times over, four times over to meet the demands of the various clients. So Dash is an attempt to take the best of the features from those existing formats and blend them into, a, into an ISO standard that is open in its, in its participation and that is, uh, has certification tests and is a format that people can build solutions around. So in April of this year, it was actually ratified as an official standard. And since then, we've seen a blossoming in the number of companies that are bringing it out. So Akamai is part of the Dash Industry Forum. This is a new industry group that's just been incorporated. It was derived from the older Dash Promoters Group, which grew very quickly from six users up to 66 companies, as we see a lot of people starting to invest in Dash. So at the show this year, there's probably 18 companies from Dash uh, Industry Forum that are demoing working solutions, and a number of them are going to be taking it uh, to full-scale production this year. So we're starting to see Dash take over. It's, it's hard for it to compete with some of the incumbents, especially HLS, but there's enough attraction in the differentiation that Dash brings that companies are starting to make that commitment. There's a number of initiatives. So the HBB TV standard in Europe dictates that it's a Dash-based format that's used for delivering. So in that case, it's legislated. You need to use this if you want to reach these TVs. And I think the Spanish broadcasters have gone into production already in Q1 of this year with a Dash-based solution. So it's going to, it might be implemented there first. You have to get all, all the solution pieces along the chain to support it. The encoder has to create Dash, the CDN has to deliver it, and the player has to be able to play it back. And until those all three pieces are in line, you can't deliver Dash to the end device. The primary benefit of Dash is that it is a, not a standard that's controlled by any one particular company. So people feel comfortable committing their ecosystem to that. Alongside with that, it brings a number of real benefits. One of those is common encryption. So common encryption is an attempt to differentiate the encryption of the content from the transmission of the keys which might be used for DRM. So in other solutions, you need the keys and the content are, are bundled together and you need to re-encrypt your entire library each time you want to use a different a DRM solution. With common encryption, you can encrypt it once using AES-128 in almost an agnostic way and then supply multiple sets of keys for different DRM solutions. That makes it much more efficient from an encoding perspective and also efficient from a delivery and CDN perspective because we cache the same content all the time even though we're delivering it to different clients that have different DRM needs. And then there's multi-language support, so Dash uh, supports late binding of audio by default. Um, there's manifest efficiency when it comes to requesting the manifest. There's templating, which makes for much more efficient, uh, unlimited length uh, DVR archives. There's a whole number of features within Dash that I think will really make it shine. Another one is advertising in period-based manifests. Makes it easy to insert advertising content into a Dash-based solution. I don't meet anybody who says, I don't like Dash and that makes sense to my business. The next question is, well, I have a solution that's working. What is the driving function? What's going to take, what's the catalyst that makes me use this? And people are finding different catalysts in different places. So for us, the, the adoption is very quick and growing. We get a lot of demand here at the Akamai booth for it. We're also holding an inaugural reception on Sunday. If people want to attend, it's going to be 300 people. If that's any indication of the sort of the, the size and the interest in, in Dash that's happening here. So, so far, it's off to the races. Yeah.